What is up, CAD fam? Welcome back to another Let's Sew. Today I have this thrifted, almost like a chambray slash denim looking button up. Now, with this button up, I don't want to do too much to it. I actually like the way that it's kind of oversized. But as you can see, the sleeves are a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do to counteract that is creating a rutched pattern or rutched look going down the sleeve. This this adds like a stacking effect to the piece of fabric. This could be obtained through elastic, which I'm just going to be using this one that I had left over from an old project. Before I get a lot of people asking, Hey Ken, are you going to be doing a tutorial on this? I wouldn't say anytime soon just because I've been practicing with the rutched look. I have not mastered it yet so I don't want to put it out until I get some more experience. Another thing that I'm going to be kind of playing around with in this video is iron on patches and as you guys saw before, sew on patches which is the peacock patch you saw first. I've never, well I, actually I lie, I've played around with sewing on patches before but there's just so much of a like different world with patches that I have not explored. So you guys are going to see how much I struggled with sewing on that peacock patch later. But as of right now, what I'm going to do is just cut out a couple strands of elastic, evenly distribute it along the sleeve, and then going to be sewing that on. This is, I guess, my current method on creating the rushed or stacked look. I don't know if this is the best and most efficient way to do this. This is just something I thought about one day. I was like, let me just try it out and see where it goes. And it creates like a very subtle rutched look. If you guys have or worked with the rutched or the rutch effect, please let me know down below on a better method. I usually go through YouTube and try to find a YouTube tutorial on this, but for some reason, I, I kind of want to venture away from that and kind of develop my own methods. I know that's really far-fetched, but it almost makes me feel like a scientist in a way. Like, I do my hypothesis, and then I do my experiments, and then if that doesn't work, then I just keep trying till I find the ex exact solution or come to a really good conclusion. I don't, I don't know anything about science, so don't quote me on that, okay? Anyways, so I'm just sewing it down with a straight stitch while some of the fabric is folded over, and this is what creates that rush to look. And after this, I'm going to be just adding some patches. I'm gonna be sewing on the peacock, as I said earlier, and then the feathers that I showed in the beginning as well, I'm just gonna be ironing on those. So pretty straightforward, there's not much explanation other than all the tedious work that goes on by just thinking about how to place everything, where to place it, how to place it, and the very, 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 very tedious work of sewing it on. So that's pretty much kind of like the end of like the explanation of what I do in the video. Now it's to that portion of the let's sew where I kind of just talk about random stuff that's been on my mind or that has happened to me in the past like couple of weeks. So the first thing that happened recently was that I was featured in some sort of online magazine. Is this real life? I think this magazine's pretty low key, but a feature is a feature, you know what I'm saying? And it's pretty humbling that someone would consider me one of the YouTubers or DIY YouTubers to watch. That's crazy. Mama, I made it. I made it on someone's magazine, online magazine. You know, that's, that's, I, I know I'm just like kind of joking around here, but that's pretty crazy like to think that I'm among all the other YouTubers, the top YouTube, so or sewing YouTube channels to watch and it's just kind of humbling to to see where my work has kind of gone and I just want to say thank you to not only to the magazine but to you the viewers the CAD fam CAD fam we out here 
just because I would not be where I am without you guys. I know that our relationship is kind of an interesting one because sometimes I'm here on YouTube, sometimes I'm not. And I try to communicate with you guys as much as possible and it gets kind of difficult. But with this feature, I feel like it it's like a, it's like a push. It gives it gave me like a little push like hey, you're doing good here. Now you got to do better and better and better because I don't know who who who's who's watching my videos. Hopefully like my videos are really like setting a tone for people that want to learn how to sew. If not learn how to sew, at least put some sort of positivity into someone's life if you're having a bad day. That's kind of why I love making these videos. Hopefully that really or that those messages really reside with some of my viewers. So again, thank you for the future. I'll put that blog post down below. It's a really low key one, not a lot of reading, a lot uh, five pictures at most, I think. But check them out. It's the first feature. And if you are like a blogger or some sort of someone that does blog posts or host online magazine and want to feature me or interview me like I'm down to like talk about stuff yeah anyways another thing or the last thing that I kind of want to talk about in this let's so is just going over my thought process when I'm creating these videos thinking about projects thinking about concepts thinking about all that stuff at the end of the day I just kind of let my imagination take course and on top of that I tend to make things that I really, really would wear. Now, for me to go out there and make clothing that I would never, 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 ever wear, it's a waste of my time, and I'm not being true to myself. So, where I want to end this is that if you are going to be creating clothing, create clothing because you enjoy it and you love it, and not and don't care about other people's opinions they're they're just there to create noise in your in your head and here is the finished product oh god that was really weird anyways here it is here's a close-up of the sewn on peacock i actually really liked how this turned out the rushed look on the fra 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 front <laughs> it gives it that rivered look of course it's not that clean but it's got to do for now until I have some more practice. But let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? No? Okay. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love you guys. And remember to keep it daily. Peace! Very simple.